Hello, my name is Maximo Alvarez. I live in Miami, Florida, not far from the state of Florida, which is in just a 90 mile white blue strip on a map for me. It divides freedom from fear. It divides the past from the press, from the future. I know all about the past. I'll never forget my own. My family has fled totalitarianism and communism. Yep, I uh, remember that speech. It was one of the really impactful moments of the RNC. Back in August, Cuban-born Maximo Alvarez made headlines warning that the U.S. would be turning into Cuba under a Biden presidency. Well, now, months later, how does he feel about his prediction? Maximo joins us now. Maximo, are your greatest fears coming true? What you left in the 60s, what your dad left from in Spain, uh, is it coming true here? I am afraid to say so. Uh, it's uh, very sad. But ever since the election, right after January the 20th, you've seen what's happened in this country with the signature of our new president. And uh, it seems to me that everything that we're experiencing today, I never thought I would experience again, but it's happening rapidly. So you have $6.2 trillion of spending there for social programs. Uh, it looks like Joe Biden's portraying himself as somebody with a big heart. What's wrong with that? I heard it before, the, fall, the false empty promises. I thought I would never hear them again. The social injustice. The propaganda about diversity, equity, and inclusion. And they keep repeating over and over again the same things up to the point that just like any pathological liar will believe their own lies. They always tell you about things that are not true, but they repeat it enough. You go on to say, right, you say in academia, our kids are being indoctrinated. Uh, that is a fight that we're seeing right here in New York, especially. On gun control, the fight has just begun there. You think that reminds you of what has happened in Cuba? And that whole uh, fight against uh, race against race against race, you said that is very similar, similar formula from what you left in the 60s with Fidel Castro. Listen, they continue try to tell our kids our children, our students, that America, the United States is a bad country, that we are racist, that we abuse people, that we don't like immigration. If any of that was true, I wouldn't be here today. This is the most generous country in the world. This is the only country where 60 years ago I arrived with the clothes that I was wearing on my back. And thanks to the generosity of this country, thanks to the freedom of this country, right. thanks to the opportunities that this country offers to everybody the same, I was able to experience the so-called American dream, which is just not a term, it's a reality. Right. So Today, my family impacts thousands of families, and we try to give back some of what was given to us before. And I've said this before many times, and I want to continue to say it, Got it until I die. And I just want to put this up uh, for a second. Somebody else who came here uh, from another country fleeing uh, for various reasons, uh, Ilan Omar, uh, said this. Uh, and it said this, uh, key policies have been pro uh, progressively sponsored bills for more than a decade and now being pushed by POTUS are basically her ideas. Free pre-K, tax the rich in corporations, paid family leave, child care, and school meals. That's the power of organizing. Uh, she's, she and the squad, who are for, way to the left, are running, it seems, most of the programs that the White House is putting forward. Does that scare you? Final thought. Very scary. And why does not she go back to her country to try to preach that? Because she came to this country, running away from totalitarianism. She came to this country for freedom. Yep. And now, people like that, it is absolutely incomprehensible betraying the very country that accepted us 
just like our children, just like we were born right. here. Unlike, unlike you, who's uh, thrilled to be here and happy to be in the best country in the world, she seems to feel just the opposite. Uh, and yet she's got a lot of power in the party. Uh, so unbelievably. Uh, thanks so much, Maximo, for telling your personal story and your concerns. Maximo Alvarez, thanks so much. I learned as a young kid, my dad said it many times, if you lose this country, you have no place to go. Absolutely. Uh, 